Okay, guys, we're going to show you how to do a net sheet on a seller net sheet on Chicago Agent One on the online app. Uh, so first to get started, guys, you need to make sure you have an account with Chicago Title. Contact our title rep and they'll get you set up with an account. When you log in, you'll see this page. You have you can do buyer, seller, calculators, estimates. So you want to click on seller and it'll take you to this page right here. Very important is right here underneath uh, Chicago Agent 1 is you want to make sure you're in the right county. Um, you select the right county for your property. So if it's in Santa Clara County, make sure it's select Santa Clara County. If it's like Alameda or some other county, you want to select the right county and the right city because that will change depending on the fees change. Who pays title, who pays escrow and all that stuff depending on the county and it'll, it'll automatically uh, make that happen here in your estimate. Um, so for the sake of this one, yeah. if you have an address, add the address, you'll click on add address. The benefits of adding the address here is that it'll pull up the tax records or how much property taxes and stuff like that. I'm not going to enter an address here for this video, but definitely put your address in there. And if they have a conventional loan, I usually just leave that on conventional. I wouldn't really mess with that. So what's your sales price, your estimated sales price? Let's just say it's a million dollars. So I'll type in a million. And then what's the commission that you're charging? Um, rule of thumb, what we do is we always give three different options. So we'll do a 5%, a 6%, and a 7%. And we'll show the client the difference you know, from selling as is to selling staged and marketed to fully remodeling and marketing all the way. And we'll kind of give them the three options and the three different price ranges. So I would always have three different net sheets that I would take. But for this one, I'll just show you how to do one. So let's assume this is a million bucks. You're charging 6%. And what you can do is you can just leave it at 6%. Or if you click this gear icon, you can show how the fees will be split between the buyer and the listing agent. So in this case, we'll say 3.5% goes to the listing agent, 25 goes to the buyer. And then if you want to make sure that split is shown in the closing cost breakdown, you leave this as on. So it'll break it up for you when they see the estimate. So for this estimate only, I'll click that. Now I'll move down the line. Are there any repairs that you know right off the bat you need to do? If you don't know because you're just your first time you're going to meet them, then don't put any repairs. Is there any miscellaneous things you got to pay off that maybe they told you about? I would put that there. Like maybe do they owe like have a tax lien or anything like that? You would put that there. Property taxes, I would just leave this as one and a quarter percent. Don't mess with that. Now, how much do they owe on the property? So if you have that information, I would definitely fill that out because this is going to give you a more accurate net sheet. You should always ask that before preparing your net sheet. So let's say they owe 500K, 500,000 on this property, and then ask what their interest rate is because this estimate will calculate how much interest they're paying while they're selling. So let's say they're at a 3% interest rate. And then transfer tax. So do you know what city it's in? If it's in San Jose, just click San Jose. If it's you're not sure, then just put default, but there's gonna be transfer tax in San Jose. So I'd leave that there. And then closing date, I would just leave that as is and hit compute. So now when I hit compute, it's gonna start calculating here on the right-hand side, the net. So this is how much they'll net. They owe a million bucks, 6% commission, and they have a $500,000 loan. It breaks it all down here. And then what you're going to do is if you want to print this out, you'll hear sh you'll hit share or print right here. It's going to automatically give you this view for the property. So this is what it looks like. Um, and this is just an example. But if you wanted to change the what, what the net sheet looks like, there's different options here on the right hand side. And these are just different templates. So if you wanted to like, let's say I like the way this one looks. I can do it like that. I usually just leave it on the default one. If you want to edit uh, the colors or anything like that, you can play around with the colors here. Um, if you go into your profile and fill out all your information, you can put your photo in there. You can put all your contact info, all that good stuff. And then you right here on the left-hand side, you can email it. You can download it. You can print it. I always recommend you print it out have the three different net sheets that you're going to show the three different options, three different price ranges, print those out and show them uh, on the listing appointment in paper 
and go over the fees and the net with them. So that's how you prepare a net sheet, guys. Hope that helps.